be at. Absolutely. That uh, oval is not yet over. Okay, we've got two more of uh, the individual events. 400 meter hurdles, men's 1500 coming up. There's a four by 100 relay to finish things off on the track. We still have the men's long jump going on and that pole vault yet to reach its end with the javelin as well. 400 meter hurdles and let's concentrate on this. One of the sports biggest stars going in this, of course, up against Polaronzo of Italy on the outside was in Poland for the team championships, as it is was, was uh, Kaczuk, who came out on top. All the countries were in different leagues, so uh, just because you weren't out there, uh, there were different races uh, depending on which league you were in, but Woodruff, not part of that, the Panamanian, about 54-46 in Oslo for a new season's best. And talking about that, Paul just continues to look so supreme. She's have never been running this quick this early in the season bodes well for the national championships there's a coach Lara Muley. she's been running so well on the flat as well so quick working with a new strike pattern Lykonen from Finland in great form as well new personal best in Spain 54-40 just a couple of weeks ago and Jesse Knight big big win in Ostrava for the British athlete she's been winning some good races on the circuit including Turku, where she ran her quickest race of the year this year, 54-32, getting closer to her personal best. The veteran Ukrainian Rishkova, and then Lena Nielsen, also of Great Britain, who herself is having a great season, very close to her best as well, set last year in Italy. So, Femke Ball, she said, I've been working when she was in South Africa this year on 14 strides. She knows if she wants to get up there with McLaughlin, her and her coach have been testing and working hard she said i still find it difficult i still find it a challenge but i'm going for it so tonight again at least a hurdle seven she'll be going 14 but then likely change down let's see what time she can run meeting record is held by ball herself 52 65 52 30 in oslo can she go even quicker Kabal in lane five. This great Dutch talent. <laughs> Drives out hard. Femke Kabal already trying to move up on Woodruff. That left leg league. She was hot on this and already streaking down the back straight, moving ahead of everybody else. Also going well is Lykonen of Finland, but the others are a bit left trailing behind Femke Ball. Now this is where it gets hard. Now she has to try and work hard with her stride pattern. She likes to finish strongly. That was always her strength. And Femke Ball is so far ahead of everybody else here. Woodruff going well, and then it's a strap with catch up behind for maybe third place and on the outside for Lorenzo. But Femke Bell with one more barrier to take strides hard into it. And off that handle, running for the line, running for the clock. It's going to be a win. It's 52 76. It is a new meeting record. Jesse Knight finished quickly to get third place, I think, behind Lykonen of Finland. Well, it's a work in progress, Tim. She's admitted it. A coach has said it. She's had some hard races. And you have to say, by Paul's standards these days, that wasn't one of her best. You can see she's stretching for it. She's reaching for it. She's working hard on this. She knows get better, to get quicker, to get under 52, to start running regularly 51, and who knows, I, don't, I can't believe even saying this really, but if she's even going to get close to um, McLaughlin and Content, let's not forget Dalila Muhammad as well, but she's, she, when they're not there, she's just so good, she's so dominant. Yeah, she didn't really have any competition tonight, did she, Steve? She was uh, racing the clock, in effect. And I, I thought... Yeah, she didn't have that fluency through the last 100, last 120 or so. She went out so hard. I'd love to see her split through 100, 200, 250, because I think she was probably running personal best tempo for that first, first, first 300 of that race. Then she looked a little mortal coming down the home straight. But I suspect she's in a big training block now as well, trying to do these races and train hard, because with the World Championship six weeks away, you can't be easing off. You can't have big gaps in your season where you're not training hard. 
with the world champion still a month and a half away. So she could be running on slightly tired legs. There is more to come, and she will race herself into shape over coming weeks. But um, look at that gap, Steve. That is hardly needs any words. A different class. Yeah, winning by almost two seconds, which is a lot in a one lap distance. You know, it's hard work, and you're right. She has said, I have to be more offensive. She described it as being offensive, you know, attacking the first 200 meters, because her whole career was built around being strong on the last three hurdles. She still can do that, and she's trying to put the two things together. Strike pattern is really important. He was watching for the time. I think they were expecting something a bit quicker, but still, huge run from her, 52.76, breaking her own meeting record, Femke Ball, Lycanen, second and third, follow runs of...